بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ نبی کریم اما بعد مائی ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس ان اسلام السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو ڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اینڈ لرن تجوید پرنسپلز اینڈ رولز اف سورت الکافرون سورت الکافرون از بیوٹیفل چیپٹر اف دی ہولی قران دس از لوکیٹڈ ان جو 30 اینڈ سورہ نمبر از 109 بٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو ریولیشن آرڈر دس از نمبر 18 سورہ اف دی holy quran this surah carries six verses and 96 letters and 27 words this is very important to learn the meaning and recitation of this surah this surah has greater reward in our lives as well so this is important to learn the tajweed of this surah let the recite of this surah first please do follow me in the recitation then later on we will discuss the tajweed rules from this surah a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim qul ya ayyuhal kafirun la a'budu ma ta'budun ولا انتم عابدون ما اعبد ولا انا عابد ما عبدتم ولا انتم عابدون ما اعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين let us discuss some important rules from this surah with the more focus on the math and its rules and its types math is a very important science of the holy quran and it is very much known in arabic language what is the math let us discuss the rules first and later on we shall apply all these rules on this surah surah al kafirun the math mad means mad is arabic word which means to prolong or to stretch the voice and of course wherever you find the sign of this mad which is like an umbrella sign umbrella sign comes on any letter in arabic you need to stretch the voice of this specific letter which carries this mad so mad means to stretch or to prolong the uh, letter for example wherever this letter comes min as sama as sama so i am you know prolonging the voice of ma because of mad on this very letter sama so this is the mad so the mad occurs because of certain things not just because of this sign but there are other sources of mad as well for example what are the causes of mad the first cause is wherever you find any of the madda letters this is the first cause of mad madda letters are the three madda letters waw madda alif madda ja madda waw if there is uh, dhamma before waw then we have to prolong the voice of this specific letter if there is fatha before alif sakin then we have to prolong the voice of this specific letter if there is kasra before the ya sakin then we have to prolong the voice of this specific letter so if waw sakin comes alif sakin comes or ya sakin comes and waw before it mad uh, before it wamma alif before it fatha or ja before it kasra then these three letters would be called madda letters this is called madde asli this is called madde tabi as well so because of huruf e madda we have to prolong this voice there are several examples in the quran for example qala qala qaf is our qa so alif is madda letter before it is zabar or fatha qa so we cannot recite it qala no but qala qala 
so the voice prolongation would be equal to two haraka so at least two haraka we have to prolong the voice qala qala amsalukum amsa amsa so sa carries fatha and there is later on alif or hamza is coming amsalukum amsalukum wa qalu qa alif madda and lu waw madda waw madda there is wamma before the waw qalu we have to prolong the voice qa and then lu same with li ila fi quraish li ila fi so if you notice ila fi ja is coming and before the ja there is kasra li ila fi so this is called madd tawi or madd asli so waw before it wamma or alif or hamza the letter before it carries fatha or ja sakin before it the letter before it carries kasra so this is called madd tawi or madd asli there is another reason of uh, the mad for example if any letter carries the standing zawar standing fatha for example alhamdulillah rabbil alamin so when we see alamin a the letter ain carries the standing fatha which is called khada uh, zawar as well alamin alamin so we have to prolong the voice on a equal to two or three harka alamin alhamdulillah rabbil lillah lillah on the lillah the central lam also carries the standing zawar standing fatha which is called khada zawar lillahi rabbil alamin rabbil alamin so second thing because of the standing fatha the third one when any letter carries the umbrella type sign which is actually the mad sign whenever there is mad sign so letter must be stretched letter's voice must be stretched as i quoted example as sama was sama when we read this aya so there is the uh, umbrella type sign which is called the mad so because of these three causes the mad would occurs for example because of madda letters because of the standing fatha or because of uh, this sign sign of mad so these are the three reasons for the mad and the same with the ulta pesh if coming or khadi zair is coming on any letter so this is also reason for the mad so these are the uh, reasons of mad as i quoted several examples from the madd asli or the madd tabi'i whenever fi madda occurs sakin form and then before the letter carries the same uh, type of sign for example waw uh, before letter zamma ja before letter kasra hamza or alif before letter is zabar or fatha so this is called madd tabi'i or madd asli then there is second type of madd which is called madd far'i madd far'i would happen then whenever these uh, all of these huruf e madda are coming but the letter before madda are not carrying the same sign for example waw sakin is coming but before waw letter do not carry dhamma or carry for example carries fatha yawmin yawmin so there is waw sakin but the letter before waw do not carry the dhamma but carries the fatha yawmin yawmin so there is bit of stretch almost equal to two or one or half harka this is called madd far'i the letter before waw alif or ja carries uh, the different sign of they are demanding same with if uh, the alif letter is coming but before it uh, the letter before it do not carry the fatha which is according to his demand its demand for example uh, waw alif or ja is coming but ya before uh, letter before do not carries kasra but rather carries uh, zamma 
So then they, this would be called Madde Farai. So this, uh, this was the definition and explanation of the causes of the Madda and the basic types of the Mad, Madde Asli or Madde Tabai and the Madde Farai. Now we are going to discuss the two very important types of the Mad which are called Madde Muttasil and Madde Munfasil. Madde Munfasil means whenever the huruf e Madda are coming. So already we are going to stretch because of the Madda letter. And in addition, the same letter carries the Madda sign as well. The sign of Madda also occurs on the same letter, in the same word. So then this would be called Madde Muttasil. Muttasil means jointed. So the huruf e Madda or the Madda letters are in join with the Madda sign. So we have to stress of obviously these two, four to five counts, four to five letters. We have to stretch it. Madde Muttasil. Same word and on the same letter, Madda. And on the same letter, there is Mad symbol as well. This is called Madde Muttasil. So then Madde Munfasil, the next type of Mad. Madde Munfasil means a letter carries Mad, mad sign. But in the next word, there is also Madda letter. So because of uh, the separate word are both, Madda letter is separate and the letter carries Mad sign at the next and uh, separate to it. So this would be called Madde Munfasil. And of course, we have to stretch it four to five letters as well. So this is called Madde Muttasil and Madde Munfasil and Madde Tabi'i and Madde Farai. So these were the few rules of this Mad. Let us uh, learn this Surah by applying the Tajweed principles. قُلْ يَا أَجْجُهَ الْكَافِرُونَ So قُلْ Please make sure that you are uh, separation the voice of ka and ka do not recite it kul but rather kul 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 ya ajuhal kafirun ya so ya already carries hamza we have to stretch it so because of tamadde tabi'i and then in addition this carries Mad sign as well. Yeah. So we will prolong it to four to five stretch. Uh, yeah. Then in addition, this is Madde Munfasil as well because the Ya is coming later in the next word. Yeah. So there is Madde Muttasil and Madde Munfasil are coming in the same ayah. Ya ajuhal kafirun kafirun kafalif ka so this is called madde tabi because the alif the letter before it ka carries fatha ka then firun run so wow is sakin before is ra ra carries dhamma so then we have to prolong it Kafirun Qul ya Ajjuha al-kafirun La A'budu ma ta'budun La So same is here Madde Muttasil also is there And Madde Tabi also is there La La Malif La So Alif is Sakin Before it Lam Who carries Fatha so we have to attach it to two counts. La, but in addition, there is much sign on it as well. So we will double it. La, so this is Madde Muttasil. And of course, there is Madde Munfasil as well. Because when La is ending, then there is A'budu, A sound. So then La, A'budu Ma, Ma again, Madde Muttasil. And 
بدي طبي ما لا أعبد ما تعبدون ما تعبدون دون بدي أصلي لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم أنتم إخفارون because أنتم نون is ساكن then there is إخفار letter تا is coming أنتم hiding the voice with غنا إخفاء مع الغنا لا أنتم عابدون دون ما أعبد أعبد so مستقل القلب would be performed because we are doing وقفة and the sound is carrying a sign so أعبد أعبد strong القلب would be performed لا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم there is إدغام مع الغنا because we are manual letter coming after noon تنوين عابدون but there is meme after عابدون will merge it عابدون ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد same ayar is repeating ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين دين. so يا is ساكن before it كسرة. so we'll prolong the voice and stretch it. ولا دين. صدق الله العظيم. see you in another session. وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين.